Hey guys, what's up? This is Shin0525, back with another part of Let's Play The Bouncer for the PS2. This is actually quite annoying because I really don't want to talk during the cutscenes, but then there doesn't leave a lot of time for me to talk. There's another one. Uh-oh. And again, I'm going to be Sion the first playthrough. Just all Sion. And then I might have to, like, level Cole, Bolt and Cole up later. Because, um, like, off-screen. Because story mode just becomes way too hard if they're not high enough levels. So, yeah. Yeah. Beat him up. Ow. Yeah. Oh yeah, and R1's to block. If you're wondering if I had a block, I do. Ow. I'm gonna die now. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna die now. I hate it when they attack. Like, alternate, like they keep switching. Oh, I'm dead. Like, they attack when you get up, and that's really annoying because it kills you. 25 bouncer points. Bam! That looks like it hurts so much. But you can't kill anyone with it, which is stupid. Okay, I get the first light. I'm not gonna get anything because I wanna wait until I get a lot so I just level up really quickly. Cause I'm one of those people that like, I like to get a lot of like experience points and then level up. To just become like a Super Saiyan, almost. And We've yeah. Enough time on them. Yeah, the first time you play through, you die almost every fight. It's ridiculous. What is it? Huh? You recognize that Black Panther? No. Let's get going. We're gonna miss the train. Oh, and here's another thing. This game gets really dark. Not like story wise. Not like story wise. It just it's literally really dark at some parts where you can't see anything. Like I don't know if you guys can like like right now it's not so bad, but when like in the middle of the game, it's just so dark you can't see anything. So it's not the camera. It's just the game itself is really dark. We're running out of time. Then I guess we'll break through the front. Hey! What are you doing there? You think I'm gonna tell you? Oh, Sion. Oh, speaking about Sion. If you think he looks a little bit like Sora from Kingdom Hearts, he does because they base Sora off Sion right here. So if you th say like he looks like a more mature um Sora like it's Sora at like 19 20 or more 19 or like 17 ish like in his late teens um okay I'm gonna buy some stuff I'll buy a life up and a power up why not because I don't block that much unless I like need to so anyway, yeah, they base Sora off Sion Barzad. And if you are wondering why, it's because in Kingdom Hearts, to get the idea for the fighting system, they copy they basically copied this. Where it's like you and then two comms on your team fighting a bunch of people. So it's basically like Sora is Sion and then Donald and Goofy is Volt and Co. 
So that's where they got the idea for the fighting system in uh, Kingdom Hearts, is off this game. So that's why Sora kind of looks like Xeon. I didn't expect such a warm reception. Shouldn't the train be departing soon? Uh, it ought to be. We'll time it so you can jump on the train just as it starts to take off. When you hear the whistle, start booking for the train. Don't miss your cue. Who do you think you're talking to? Ha 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 ha, that kind of rhymed. You're not getting paid enough to die, now get out of my way! Yeah, these guys really love their jobs. These, like, guards. You'll find out, you'll find out later that, that they're really dedicated. Oh, oh, just before I was gonna get hit. Bam! That looks unbelievably painful. That should kill the guy. Ow. Bam. I think it damages everyone. That's why it does so little damage, but it damages, like, everyone. Because everyone, like, stumbled. I stick with the triangle combination. Like, the one, two, three. Because it's quick and fast. I think you can just kick him in the shin like that. 300, and I'll get a defense up, and then I'm good. I should. No. I think you need to buy an attack first, and then you rank up. So, yeah. That's basically how this game's gonna play out. It's just this. There's some parts where it's a little lengthy gameplay, but there's like one or two. They're, it's mostly all cutscene. So yeah. We did it. We got on the train. So yeah. We've made it. Somehow. Looks like we're on a tanker car. This thing's probably carrying rocks. There's no time to talk during this. You think Dominique's on this train? Special forces are the ones who kidnapped her. Dominique's in Mercado by now. Well, really? You seem to know a lot about this bolt. We made back there, yes. We may have intruders in the last car. Investigate it once. Remember, no guns. Transporting rocket fuel. You've got that, Echidna? Roger. We've got company. They're stowaways. Make sure you give them an appropriate welcome. I'll get the confetti. <laughs> yeah. Man, we're gonna freeze out here. Is there any way to get in? Guess there's no point in hiding. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna leave it here. And next video, I'll fight the guys on the train. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and see you next time for more Let's Play The Bouncer. Yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and see you later.